So what is the common symptom that we see in diabetes? So how can someone identify that I'm type 1 or type 2 or as you said the different kind? Is there any way without getting tested we can identify? So type 1 diabetes is uh, nothing but uh, uh, it mainly starts from the cherry road itself. So, uh, if you want to earn some money by watching this uh, podcast, like and subscribe uh, uh, Sujit's uh, channel. And uh, when you liked it or when you commented it, if some of your comments will get more than 50 likes, definitely you can earn money up to 5,000 rupees. The winner will be posted in the Instagram on uh, each and every Friday, 6 to 8 p.m. Hello everyone, welcome to TSKS. My name is Sujit Kumar. And today you are going to watch Dr. Leela Mohan, who is a diabetologist and he is one of the finest diabetologists in Bangalore. Uh, we will discuss about diabetes, we'll di discuss about complication, we'll discuss about lot many points about diabetes. So let's see uh, and please bring your parents, uh, friends, uh, relative and watch this podcast. Thank you. Hi Mohan, how are you? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sujit. It was a uh, nice uh, introduction. And uh, as you said, yes, I am Dr. Leela Mohan. I'm a physician and I'm a diabetologist. And not only doctor, I do acting in movies also. Okay. Yeah. And I've done almost like five to six Canada movies here in uh, Bangalore, which is uh, Karnataka. And then um, a lot of uh, the Telugu movies and uh, other things. Our audience want to know which movies you have worked on. No, I've done uh, so many uh, Canada movies like uh, uh, Zadiara and uh, new movies getting released, uh, Naide, Cherike, uh, Road King, uh, Gauria, uh, Putani Fun Farakalu, and one Terigu movie called as uh, uh, Kalyana Mastu, like that. Apart from that, I have my own center called as uh, Paridam Harikes, uh, that is in HSR uh, layout, mainly I practice uh, diabetes. And then I'm also consultant at uh, Motherhood and Rainbow Hospitals and then uh, sometimes I even visit Manipal Hospital as a consultant. Great moment, great. Because uh, working as a doctor and uh, you know following your best and as an actor, it's a great thing because it's it's hard to merge the thing and work parallelly f from both of the part, right? So how you manage this? I know it is really tough, but uh, as you said, uh, it is a passion. Definitely, I want to pursue my passion also and uh, uh, doctor thing also so definitely i will give time i'll make time for that and then uh, i'll uh, finish the uh, things and not only see usually what we say uh, a lot of people say that they don't have time right so we don't manage the time basically we have 24 hours of time even if we work for even eight hours and the 16 hours you have time 16 hours where as doctors uh, say you should sleep for eight hours you sleep for 8 hours already, 16 hours hours, still 8 hours you have. But what do we do that 8 hours then? We waste our time watching mobile, something, doing playing games, watching TV, all those things. So, uh, we should manage the time basically. If you manage the time, definitely you can... Definitely, if people should take this uh, as an inspiration that we should manage our time properly, then we can do a lot of things, right? I can... If you manage your time, you can definitely... True, 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 true. Let's jump into uh, your specialization part, which is uh, diabetes. Here. Uh, so, we want to understand uh, the type of diabetes. What are, what are kind of diabetes uh, we can see? See, diabetes, uh, what usually I say is uh, two things. On the name itself, it is uh, there, uh, die or uh, beat. You beat the disease or you beat the problem or die with the problem. Okay. So that is uh, diabetes. So diabetes, uh, basically if you go little introduction of the diabetes, uh, usually when you call it uh, in Sanskrit uh, as uh, Madhu Meha, that has nothing but uh, your sugar levels are uh, increased. So this diabetes uh, name is coined mainly from the Greek, uh, which is uh, called as uh, siphon. And then uh, what basically happens uh, here is uh, the person will lose uh, uh, their muscle mass by passing a lot of urine and uh, they will become weak, loss of appetite. There were uh, many uh, problems which were happening and where people were not understanding this. 
And then uh, slowly as the years uh, passes, and then uh, the 19th century, 20th century, different, different, lot of people, doctors, and uh, find out uh, what is the problem. So the problem is nothing but uh, diabetes. Diabetes is nothing but uh, frequent passing of uh, urine. And uh, mellitus is uh, nothing but uh, sweet or uh, honey. So what is the common uh, symptom that we see in diabetes? Definitely there are uh, many symptoms. Before uh, going to the symptoms, uh, as you asked uh, just now, there are a lot of uh, types of uh, diabetes are there, definitely. The common uh, diabetes is uh, type 2 diabetes, what we uh, see. Okay. And uh, there is a different type of diabetes called as type 1 diabetes. And there is another problem called as diabetes insipidus. And there is a one more diabetes called as gestational diabetes mellitus. And uh, there are uh, many other uh, problems called as MODI. That is also called as maturity of onset in diabetes in young. And then uh, LADA, uh, it is LADA, that is latent onset of autoimmune uh, diabetes in the adults. And uh, cystic fibrosis induced uh, diabetes, neonatal diabetes. There are many diabetes uh, are there, but uh, people doesn't know. People think that diabetes is only one disease. Okay. There are a lot of diabetes are there. And the uh, common symptoms, uh, as you asked, uh, the main thing is uh, loss of uh, sleep. And then uh, they feel a lot of thirsty and uh, hunger, loss of appetite, increased frequency of passing uh, urine and uh, dry and uh, itchy skin. And then uh, delayed wound healing. Like if you get obstructed with any wound or something, it will take a lot of time to heal. Normally, when you fall from bike or anything, it will take one day or two days to heal or maybe maximum five to six days. If the person is suffering with the diabetes, it will take uh, more than a month also for certain people where the sugar levels are not under control. So there are many uh, symptoms. So these are the common uh, symptoms usually with the diabetes. But how can, as you told us, different kind of diabetes, right? How can someone identify that I'm type 1 or type 2 or as you said, the different kind? Is there any way without getting tested we can identify? Uh, yes, yes, what you had asked is uh, perfect, uh, definitely. We have to go into a little uh, deeper, uh, one step, uh, you know, just uh, dig into this. So type 1 diabetes is uh, nothing but, uh, uh, it mainly starts from the childhood itself. So usually what is this diabetes, we are not going into details. Diabetes is nothing but due to the failure of uh, beta cells in the pancreas which produce insulin. So, when we take uh, diabetes, if somebody is eating uh, carbohydrates or uh, anything, the increased sugar levels will happen. So, when these sugar levels are happened, the insulin, whatever has to be produced in the body, should go and uh, break, down. break down the glucose. Right? So, now, when the glucose is not broken down, not broken down uh, because of the insulin, there due to lack of insulin. So what is lack of insulin? In the body, there is a part called as pancreas. Pancreas have different types of cells, like alpha cells, beta cells, delta cells. So beta cells mainly produce the insulin. This insulin goes and deals with the glucose and then it will, sorry, it deals with the carbohydrates and then it will deplete into glucose. So the glucose levels will be increased. That is how the sugar will get uh, digested in your uh, body. Because of the insulin. Is it only because of sugar? Diabetes is nothing but increased uh, levels of uh, sugar. The normal sugar level should be less than uh, 110 before uh, food, what we call it as uh, fasting blood sugar. And uh, the other thing is uh, called as uh, PPBS, that is postprandial blood sugar, that is after food. The normal levels are around uh, 140 and the fasting blood sugar levels should be around 90 or 100 usually. Okay, okay. So when we are talking about uh, type 1 diabetes, is it uh, a person can get after a certain age or it, it's some, uh, someone can get at the early stage? So usually they can get even at the age of uh, very uh, uh, child and then even in the adults also it can uh, start due to the failure of uh, beta cells as I said in the pancreas. When completely beta cells we get failure, the insulin production uh, will be stopped. When there is no insulin production, how your carbohydrates are going to get digested in your body? So that is type 1 diabetes. So type 2 diabetes also kind of that, what we call it as insulin resistance. 
where uh, because of uh, your uh, food habits or lack of uh, physical activity and uh, obesity stress or many reasons which can uh, you know uh, cause uh, type 2 diabetes i guess these are the uh, i mean uh, causes that arise uh, in in uh, after 20s or after 30s you're talking about type 2 diabetes yes but when you talk about diet type 1 diabetes is it like something genetical or uh, how how come someone from childhood they will not have this ability to yeah, it is kind of uh, genetical and there are uh, different things as I said, uh, you call it as neonatal uh, diabetes also. And as I told, uh, the complete failure of the beta cells due to any reason, like there are certain diseases called as autoimmune disorders. Uh, autoimmune disorders will cause the failure of the beta cells. So there won't be any production of the insulin. So that is why people develop uh, type 1 diabetes. Okay. So it's, uh, and one thing in diabetes also, it's a heretical diabetes, right? If let's say my father has or my mother has, then some way I or I can have it or in, my, in future my children can have it, right? So if I want to prevent that, what is the process or how can I, uh, you know, eliminate this? See, definitely uh, what you said is uh, called as uh, hereditary diabetes as your parents have, uh, then uh, I'll also get it. Yes, definitely you will get it if you won't take care. So there is no theoretical book or uh, guidelines which will uh, say you have to follow this, then only you won't get the diabetes, all those things. Only thing is you have to follow a good diet, a proper sleep of 7 to 8 hours, reducing the stress, work stress you have to reduce and you have to leave bad habits like if you have uh, habits like uh, smoking or uh, drinking alcohol, it will be binge uh, alcohol, anything and even uh, binge eating, all those things. Binge eating is like you eat anytime, like whenever you want it, suddenly you eat it a lot of time. No other, other than two to three meals in a day. Morning onwards you will be work uh, busy and then suddenly you go and uh, eat so much food in the lunch. Or else in the evening as the snacks which you have to take snacks, you won't take it like snacks. You eat like a uh, dinner or uh, lunch. So that is how, uh, you know. So and mainly you have to do a proper physical activity. That is 30 to 40 minutes in a day. When you follow strictly these things, definitely you can avoid the hereditary diabetes which can occur uh, from the parents. Example, I'll tell about me only. Both of my parents are diabetic. Both are having the uh, diabetes and uh, even uh, hypertension also. Nothing but BP, blood pressure, what we'll call it. And then, uh, luckily I'm, uh, you know, I'm certain age now and then I don't have it. Because I usually maintain it like the food control or unnecessary consumption of sugar, I'll cut down all the uh, unnecessary consumption. Can, can we prioritize it? Like as you said, uh, the food uh, eating habits, sleeping habits, uh, drinking habits, right? Uh, what is? Physical, I, physical enterprise, right? So how can we prioritize? Which one should be a priori priority? One, two, three. Oh, I know every, every everything is a should yeah. be priority. Definitely, I'll tell you one uh, normal uh, fact. Uh, see, what is life? What? For we are, uh, we have to live happily, right? True. So we have to eat everything, whatever we get it, correct? So it is, I don't want to restrict any of my people that I have uh, diabetes, so don't eat sugar, don't eat uh, ice cream, or don't eat uh, burger, or don't eat french fries. Anything, let it be the sugary candies or chocolates, whatever. I don't want to eat anything, like, I don't want to restrict any of my uh, patients or any of my people. Only thing what I say is, you eat whatever you want. After all, we are living for uh, eating and then, uh, you know, we have to taste each and everything. It's sugar, I have sugar cut down, I have BP, I have salt, I have cholesterol, I have oil, I have oil. What do you And my shit speaks. So, what you have to mainly do is, you do all the things. Whatever you want to do, you do. But, do physical activity. 30 to 45 minutes every day, walking, jogging, running, swimming, dancing what we call it as, uh, you know, anything mixed uh, martial arts, boxing, anything, whatever uh, you like, at least make sure that 60 minutes of in your day, make sure that you do some or the other. When we are talking about the diet, uh, can you give some uh, guidance on the diet? What kind of diet people should follow? It's, uh, so, so the diet in diabetes is a very huge uh, topic uh, because, uh, see, many things has to be avoided, especially I'll tell you one or two. If you take uh, fruits, especially mainly, you should avoid uh, taking banana. A lot of uh, consumption of banana you should avoid. Because it contains more uh, sugar levels than any other uh, fruits. 
like that so then we have to prioritize uh, whatever is rich in carbohydrates which all fruits then uh, i mean you, people should not have as you said one is banana which all fruits you are yeah fruit that's what there are many fruits uh, you know uh, you can uh, avoid all your uh, even citrus fruits also which is good for uh, uh, a health means like for some times it is good for what we call it as rich in vitamin c and all but not uh, very uh, regularly and uh, you should avoid even taking uh, fruit juices also more okay. usually you say you know uh, take uh, fruits and uh, fruit juice all those things fruit juice is good for you okay. yeah definitely a fruit juice is good but the fruit juice when you eat a fruit how many fruits you'll eat you'll eat one fruit when it goes for a fruit juice for the same making of that fruit juice you'll use four uh, oranges so what will happen if you don't add it, even sugar in that because of the already there will be some sugar content in the fruits and you are eating more uh, fruits the sugar spikes will happen so certain things you know any fruit what i say is you can eat any fruit there's nothing that uh, particularly you should uh, avoid it. eat in a minimal quantity like example you wanted to eat an apple eat one slice of apple so don't eat uh, uh, you know uh, the full apple like so i mean uh on the food side uh, we should eat it in a raw form not you know uh, getting the liquid form and we are drinking more and more which is if, if we see in a raw form we can't eat those uh, those many fruits right so that's very bad that's what you say no no you can have all the fruits and all only the thing is as i said uh, like where you will end up in eating one fruit of uh, apple you will end up in making uh, five apples you, uh, you will use it to make one glass of juice okay so that will cause uh, a spike of the sugar uh so coming to this type 2 diabetes if uh, i know i mean if this type 2 diabetes start after 20s yeah as i said uh, due to lack of uh, physical activity and sedentary lifestyle and work pressure and stress office working hours and as we stay in uh, bangalore there will be a lot of uh, traffic uh, usually so everybody will be spending 1 to 2 hours in the traffic only so like that stress also causes increase in uh, so how how this can get reversed diabetes is reversible like time use reversible yeah diabetes uh, type 2 diabetes reversible is a very big thing usually if you maintain a good lifestyle basically definitely you can uh, reverse it there's a thing called as uh, pre diabetes pre diabetes is nothing but in the young adults uh, they have uh, the sugar levels at uh, around uh, 90 to 100 all those things they have to go regular uh, checkups to the doctor and they go regularly to the doctor uh, for the checkups of 3 months 6 months once or annual uh, health checks you can uh, check their uh, sugar levels and then we can detect a pre diabetes in a young individual so once the pre diabetes is confirmed in any young individual then they can start the modifications of changing of lifestyle all those things so when they follow a strict and definite uh, proper uh, strategy they can easily reverse the diabetes oh uh, so what kind of medication or treatment someone should have have to control it to manage the diabetes no diabetes again no uh, we are going for the treatment so diabetes uh, have uh, two types of uh, things mainly uh, treatment one is a tablets and the other one is a insulin insulin is a direct injection which we will uh, give or ask uh, people to take it uh, every day on regular basis according to their sugar levels and when you come to the tablets there are many types of uh, tablets usually we start with uh, metformin uh, that is a tablet again all these whatever i'm going to talk about is now all the tablets we give uh, give it by age there are uh, many things and very recently the new technology like new was like how you upgrade the systems or the phones like that uh, the tablets also in quality are as glt2 inhibitors or glp1 uh, agonists or antagonists there are uh, many different types of uh, tablets what we call it as siphon a ureas and many drugs which will help in uh, treating the diabetes i will tell a uh, user not to take this medicine without consulting a doctor this are definitely you need to consult a doctor and then you need to ask for your condition you should take uh, any sort of medicine Oh, 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 oh,